So I thought this was a fun way to start my day. <laughs> I came in here to get the camera and I saw this sitting on my desk. Chelsea was super, su super for our substitute today. That's so cute. She's actually been complaining about having substitute teachers lately. Um, I don't think it was like a long-term thing. I think some of the teachers had like conferences or something to go to. But it's interesting that she got you know, a little note saying that she was doing good for her substitute teacher. But we also have another little, I don't know, it's not a fun thing, but something other than normal today. Are you staying home from school today? Yeah. She's nuzzled up by the fire here, right? Are you going to maybe turn that off here in a minute? I'm just listening to it. You're just listening to it. Okay, close your eyes if you want, okay? So, yeah, that is happening. I will do the rest of her dishes as well because she didn't do them this morning. I wasn't sure this morning when she said she didn't feel good if it was fake. I'm still not completely convinced. I mean, she's all nuzzled up and warm and wanting to close her eyes, but who wouldn't be if you have a blanket and an iPad and <laughs> no responsibilities, let's just be honest. And I look like crap. So maybe I should go get myself a little bit more ready if I'm gonna be on the camera today, which is kind of something I wanted to talk about because I've been in a little bit of a slump. You saw from the last video, I hadn't wanted to be on the camera but a bunch and I kind of have felt in a slump. One for content for you guys, but that's like literally like because I'm in a slump like in life. So if I'm in a slump in life, like there's not much for me to film. And so it was kind of like this, I really have only filmed like one day in like almost a week. I don't know. So I'm behind on being ahead, if that makes any sense. Without Jason home, it's also kind of hard. And it's not hard to have him working all the time. It's not like it's any harder for me to take care of the kids and whatnot. But it's lonely. I'm spoiled in having him home. By the way, the rest of my dishes are clean. I told the office at school, I was like, I don't know, you might see her later today. <laughs> and so they, they kind of joked and they were like, all right, well, we'll mark her out. Totally sick. And then if she ends up coming, then we'll fix it. But I don't know, I feel bad. If I'm gonna be on camera, I wasn't planning on being on camera. And I don't have anywhere to go during the day if she's sick, which, Okay, let's talk about that really quick. I was gonna like come in here and fold laundry, but let's talk about this really quick because it irritates me that she even has the potential of maybe being sick. And Jason and I, we're gonna film another video tonight, I think. I think we're still planning on doing that. Over the weekend, Washington, our governor declared a state of an emergency for Washington with the first and now the second death of the coronavirus and it sent everyone into a panic. Costco's were absolutely insane. I tried Saturday twice to get into the parking lot to go in to get photos. I printed out little invitations for my church party and I just needed to go in and get them and it took me two times of trying to get into the parking lot to be able to run in and go and get them. The shelves are clear of pasta sauce and water bottles and Clorox wipes and face masks and gloves and all this other stuff. And it's like the water bottle thing, like kind of, I mean, toilet paper, yeah, I get. Like if we end up going into a two week um, quarantine, which is kind of the idea if you are gonna try and stop the virus from your town, from continuing forward, you put everyone into a quarantine, which is what they're doing in China and in Tokyo and then you know, other parts of the world, that's what you do to try and stop the virus in its tracks. So I totally get it. So Jason and I are gonna go to Costco tonight and stock up on our essentials. We are gonna get toilet paper. We are gonna get canned soups and canned pasta sauces if we can find them. <laughs> um, things that we can eat and sustain ourselves with at home if we are going to have to get, you know, quarantined here at home. I don't know when or if that's gonna happen, but we are told in our church to be prepared and our food supply has depleted. As our budget has kind of shrunk a little bit lately and I've been trying to like rein things in more, oh, my battery's gonna die. Our food supply has gone down and so that's what we're gonna try and do tonight in a separate video. But, so amid all of, amidst all of that this weekend with the worry of 
fevers and people getting sick and people dying at the hospital north of us. It's probably like 45 minutes north of us. But my daughters went to play with someone at their house. Not only were the parents not home and I wasn't aware, but one of them was sick with a fever. And they let my daughters into their home sick with a fever the same weekend that the state declared a state of emergency for a coronavirus. That is a virus. Fever induced. Sickness. And I was like, why are you doing that? Why are you letting kids come and play with your kids if they're sick? I, it just blew my mind. It made me so mad. And so now, 48 hours later, Ashley feels sick. And I haven't, there's no fever showing quite yet. But it really irritates me so much that people would be that irresponsible. And I've been telling my kids, you wash your hands for 20 seconds, you sing happy birthday twice as you rub that soap into your hands and wash it, you know, clean. It just drives me crazy, you guys. That's how it's spreading, is that people aren't being cautious. And yes, they don't know how this is spreading. But if I can do my part and keep my kids safe, then I'm going to. But like, don't let people into your home if you know you're sick. Just ridiculous. <laughs> That's my little soapbox for this morning. Maybe I'll go get ready so you don't have to look at this anymore. Also, this is the only battery I have. I can't find my other one. So it's gonna be a minute before I see you again um, because I gotta go charge that battery, so. All right, that's a little bit better, right? <laughs> I think Ashley's still the same, same place. Nope, she's moved, right? How are you feeling now? Still not great, right? But you're upright. You've got your little castle set up, right? Are you playing with that too? I set it up. You set it up. It's quite the little spot there to sit with the fire and stuff, right? You have a few things missing? Hmm, maybe that's why mom wanted it kept where we could keep track of it, right? Mom's right? Yes, mom's right. So I'm still trying to figure out what to do with her. I've been on the computer. This battery has been charging. My hair is done, you guys. This is, we're on Monday. And so I do have Sunday hair still. <laughs> but I've been working on the computer. Um, I did, I, I've been debating on how to do yesterday's video. I've been editing it, playing with it all weekend. Not and yesterday. I was gonna do a voiceover and just kind of explain, but I didn't end up doing that. And so I, aside from today, um, and I'll put this in the description on that video in case you wanna go back and watch it. Maybe this will make more sense. I spend a lot of my day alone. <laughs> I don't talk to adults unless they're a you know, cashier or a drive through attendant. And I don't spend a lot of time with adults. And so I kinda got the idea to do a silent video because that's how my day goes a lot of the time. I get stuff done, I run errands, and I get groceries, and I work on stuff here at the house. But it's all done in silence. <laughs> I don't, you know, I, that's just kind of the preface for that video. It's just, that's my life. And I kind of want to have you go at that video with that perspective. You're not seeing me necessarily a whole lot. Um, you're just seeing me going through those motions. And that's literally what I'm doing. I'm going through the motions day to day. I hope you enjoyed that video. Obviously, I'm not going to do it like that all the time because I like to chat with you guys and stuff. But that day, I didn't want to chat. I didn't want to like come up with stuff to talk about because I didn't have anything to talk about. <laughs> I don't talk to people very often during the day. So I just didn't feel like talking. So that being said, I just found a nasty sock. That is so nasty. Sometimes, you guys, I just want to throw socks away before I even wash them. Oh, I don't know if I would handle having boys. But, um, I never got this laundry folded. <laughs> this is from yesterday. PE clothes that didn't come out of backpacks until last night. So they had to, uh, get washed last night. Um, I might take her for some Sprite. Her stomach still kind of hurts, Ashley's, and so I might take her. I was wondering if it was, like, allergies. So, and I don't have any children's allergy medication. So far it's only been Jason that has shown any symptoms of allergies. Chelsea a little bit last night. So I gave her half of an adult dose. Um, and it's raining today, so that will like dampen any allergies. We've had the cherry blossoms blooming all up and down our streets and in, in town. That's kind of striking up all of our allergies. So we're boring today. I'm so sorry. I want to film today separate from filming with Jason tonight. But it's kind of boring. We'll bring you along if we do anything 
extra. I just finished editing this video right here. I don't know. See if you guys like that. All right, we are testing her temperature. Let me see. Yeah, it's done. We have 92.9. But the problem is you were sitting by the fire for a really long time. So I wanna see what it is in just a minute. You're really hot. I don't know, but we're gonna go get her some Sprite, right? She's got a blanket to take in the car. She's been playing lazy, but that also tells me that she's not feeling so well, right? Here, take a vitamin. Yeah, I took one. Today? Yes. Oh, is this Chelsea's? Yeah. Chelsea doesn't want to take them. She's because she she doesn't like the taste of them. Tough luck. I don't I don't like bite them. I just like keep them in for a long time until they're small. Oh. Taste that bad. Okay, so you have this blanket and you want another blanket over the top? Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. That uh, now it already broke. It already broke? Yeah. Oh dear. Well that makes you <laughs> Let me fix it for you. Can you turn it down? She's all nuzzled in here. I'm already in. Yep. Okay. Close your eyes if you get sleepy at all. All right, so we're back in the car. The rest of this week, and actually for the next couple weeks, um, I'm going really slow, by the way. <laughs> so it's okay. And we're heading into a school zone, so we're gonna go even slower. But um, for the next couple weeks, I have like tons of like after school pickups to do. Abby has a doctor appointment today as a follow-up for her her toe removal to make sure everything is okay. And then Chelsea just started doing Girls, um, on, the girls on the Run. And she did it last year and had a really good time. I got to do it on my birthday with her. She did. I really can't wait till next, you know, you have to be in third grade. So Ashley will never get to do it with Chelsea. Yeah. But Chelsea's really excited about doing it. Um, and they do it inside when it's raining, so it's, it's raining right now. It's pouring rain right now, so um, she still will have fun. But she also is doing an after-school math club that overlaps, and for another couple weeks. And so she's kind of bummed by that. But um, so she has stuff after school three days a week. The girls have activities for church tomorrow night. They have them every Tuesday night, and. Um, Anyway, it's just it's gonna get crazy here for the next couple weeks as all of these activities are double doubling up. All right, so it got really crazy trying to get Abby to that appointment, and I had another friend who was trying to meet me to give me some of Jason's brother's products to work on, and it just got really crazy. So I'm home, and I have made dinner. Shocking! <laughs> I don't make dinner very often, you guys. I really loathe making dinner. And the past half hour is why I loathe making dinner because what I thought was gonna be a super simple and non-messy dinner, I can't get the bloody carrot out of the bag. <laughs> um, I was trying to make hash brown potatoes, funeral potatoes. Some of you know what that means. They're in the oven here. Yeah, you just take hash browns and sour cream and cheese and a can of cream and chicken soup or cream and mushroom soup and butter, salt, pepper, hash browns, obviously, and then mix it all up, throw it in a pan, and bake it, and you're done. 
but it was like a mess. I had to grate the cheese and the hash browns wouldn't like chop apart from being frozen. Anyway, got ham defrosting in the fridge. Let me put you down so I can cut carrots. Anyway, so I only have, I don't even know, maybe a half hour before I have to go get Chelsea now. So hopefully I'll be done with dinner by the time we get home from that. And we'll have carrots, ham, and potatoes. And hopefully our night isn't as crazy after that. Got these bits of ham. <laughs> Looks so good. Look at that. It's just leftover from probably a family, maybe Christmas dinner. I can't remember, but I just put it all in the freezer. This is only like a fourth of it. So that's thawed out, and I'll warm it up when I come back from getting Chelsea. All right, just picked up our last one for the day, right, Chels? Oh, I got Abby and had to take her to the doctor. Yeah. yeah. How was Girls on the Run? Good, tiring, but okay, and I'm still in shorts. <laughs> yeah. He was like, how are you in shorts? Well, we have to blur out that name. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say your teacher's name, Goober. Just used to say. I know, but it's one of your favorite teachers, huh? Yes. So you had to come up with nicknames for yourself, right? Yeah. my name is Cheesy Chelsea. It's very fitting. <laughs> you had a good time? Yeah. So you kind of did the introduction again and then ran? Yeah. Good. You're tired, huh? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna end this video here now. I'm coming up on red light, don't worry. And um, call it a night for tonight with this video because I gotta hurry and get home and get these guys fed and into bed within the hour and then hopefully Jason was gonna come home from work on time and um, we are gonna go and film another video tonight what is it about well we're gonna go to Costco and I know this coronavirus is like kind of blowing up in our faces and so some school districts in our state have closed for the next two weeks um, in order to clean the schools, or maybe not a full two weeks, but in order to fully clean the school Lots and disinfect it, um, they have closed some school districts. So they sent a message out today, you know, for our district it isn't closed, but dot, dot, dot. So I'm, we're just gonna go stock up at Costco. We're not being crazy, you we're just- a hot dog? No, I'm not getting you a hot dog. <laughs> so stay tuned for that video. We're just gonna do that one separate, cause it is all related to stocking up for this coronavirus scare and preparation and that kind of stuff. My friend's mom won't let her shake hands with anyone. No. Like, I'm not joking. She, when she did it, she's like, my mom won't let me, like. No, you are you should come home and shower. My mom, or not, my, <laughs> my friend's mom was like, you can't touch anyone unless you have hand sanitizer. Yeah. She made her take three hand sanitizer yeah. bottles. And then, like, you gotta hurry it up, I gotta go. Okay, fine. <laughs> kept refilling the, um, uh, sanitizer. sanitizer yes. It is off the shelves. It's, <laughs> it's totally off the shelves. I've gotta go. Take care, you guys. Stay tuned for that next video. It probably will go up next week. So, for you guys, this is gonna be going up on a Friday. This video is gonna go up on a Friday. So, stay tuned till next week for this Costco haul that we're gonna do to stock up and get ready in case everything kind of gets shut down. So take care and have a good night.